Hi everybody, welcome to Little Spoon Farm. Today we're making homemade tomato soup. Saute onions in butter and olive oil till they are soft and translucent, about 10 minutes. Add the garlic and basil. We're adding a, just a pinch of cinnamon because that helps take some of that canned flavor away from the tomatoes. Then we'll add red pepper flakes, salt, and don't forget the black pepper. Stir this and allow it to cook for another minute or so. Then you'll add your chicken stock and your canned tomatoes. No need to smush them up. We'll be blending them later. Stir that up and then you can also add two tablespoons of uncooked rice. This will cook at, with the soup and it will make the soup super creamy and velvety once we blend it up. So just give that a really good stir and once it comes up to a simmer, stir it again and then you're going to want to cook this covered for about 25 minutes and make sure you turn the heat down so it doesn't overcook. Every once in a while you want to come in and give it a stir just to prevent sticking on the bottom. Now once it's finished cooking after the 20 to 25 minutes we are going to add a little bit of baking soda. This is also going to cut down on that canned flavor. Now, when you add the baking soda to the soup, it's gonna to start to fizz and bubble, and that's completely normal. You'll see when I stir it, it does it even more. So just know that that is going to happen. Once you get that stirred in, you're going to want to blend the soup and puree it. You can do this in a blender, but I like to use an immersion blender right in my saucepan. So you will just blend it until it's as smooth as you like it. And I like mine really smooth. So once you have finished blending it, it's time to eat. I really like to top my soup with a little cracked pepper and some extra basil, and it goes really, really well with grilled cheese. So we hope you enjoy this as much as we do, and until next time, bye.